Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm chatting to you about how to pose your models for boudoir, lingerie and any kind of shoots that expose a bit more skin. I collaborated on this video with the lovely Fishball who is an amazing alternative model. Um, make sure to check her Instagram, I'm going to link it down below. Um, she is going to share some of her top tips on how to pose and how to put your body in front of the camera and so on. So let's get right into it. So when shooting lingerie or any kind of more uncovered shot, it's very important for your model to have the right confidence to take the shots. Um, a lot of the time I find from my own experience that the models tend to hide a bit and kind of, you know, try and cover the bodies. And unfortunately, when you're shooting lingerie, it has to be the other way around. You have to be quite exposed, quite open and quite relaxed with your own body, which is always a difficult part when working with clients who aren't models. So there are certain poses that you can do to elongate your body and make your body look nicer. So in the first example, she is sitting down and it's very hard to keep the stomach flat and keep it kind of nice and even. And then in the second pose, she just kind of opens up a bit and elongates her body and that makes you look much taller and much more confident. Another thing is to make sure that the model's back is nice and straight, that she's not hunching because it's going to create loads of, um, you know, problem areas around the stomach and around her shoulders. And it's just going to look like she's hiding again. So nice and elongate, elongated, nice and straight back, um, you know, tummy tucked in. So it's always important not to have the back completely straight and one line with the bum. It's always better to curve it back a tiny bit, stick the bum out a tiny bit. And it's going to create a much nicer line. You know, you have to keep the shoulders back, you have to keep your chin up. And this way it's going to look much more confident in the photos. It's also really nice when the model tries to make eye contact with the camera. Um, it's kind of like, you know, trying to flirt with the camera in a way because um, it always kind of adds a bit of connection between the model and the photos. It's always a good idea to get the model to play with her hair, have a bit of hair on her face because it always adds a bit of drama in the photo and it adds a bit more sexiness um, and it just makes it look a bit more interesting. Yet again, this is another example of um, straight back, kind of, you know, curled up shoulders, looking very uncomfortable and very um, awkward. Um, so instead, it's always better to try and get the model to own it, you know, open up her body a tiny bit, stick her bum out, um, kind of make herself elongated, you know, maybe lift her arms up, just kind of nice and long, stand on her tiptoes because it always kind of makes the model longer and just not be afraid to arch the back because it really does make a massive difference. If there are little, you know, stomach rolls or anything like that that the model feels uncomfortable by, um, it's always good to just kind of maybe put her hand over it and kind of cover it nicely or just stand straight or move into a different position and kind of go about it this way. When shooting swimwear or lingerie or any kind of shots like that, it's always good to create a nice hourglass shape on the body. So it's about twisting and turning your body in a way that it kind of creates this kind of illusion of the shape that you want. Um, it's always better to put your feet together and maybe even cross your legs because it kind of um, accentuates the hips and makes your waist look smaller. So anytime you see a model using her arms in the photo, make sure that she's not covering her face and not, you know, rounding her shoulders and making herself look very uncomfortable and scared. You know, you have to bring the shoulders down, change the locations of the hand so it looks much more relaxed and comfortable. Um, maybe get her to open her mouth a bit so she's not clenching on the muscles and making it look really tense. The more relaxed and confident the model is, the better the photos will look. They will look much more natural, much less posed. And I think in general, um, it's better to get the model to just move around and do her own thing instead of just asking her to pose because that might make people a bit more uncomfortable. Um, but if you just tell her to just, you know, I don't know, dance around and do stuff to relax her, um, it's going to open her up much more. Okay guys, before I go, I'd like to give a big shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. They are an awesome all-in-one platform to build your website on. They are super easy to use. Their customer service is top-notch, so you're never going to get stuck with anything. They offer loads of beautiful templates that can be personalized to make your website just the way you want it. It's super affordable and it's just a really, really awesome platform to build your website on. So if you want to check it out, make sure to type in my link. It's squarespace.com slash Anita and you'll get 10% discount at the checkout. So make sure to check them out and I'm sure you're not going to be disappointed. 
Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed those tips. I hope you enjoyed um, the little examples of how to pose and how not to pose. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like that, if you find them helpful. Um, if you did, please subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.